the tea. Even though the cashier was a little stinky, if you got the tea. Oh, y'all, we still got the natural. I need to do my hair today, but I'm running errands. Like, I just need to get out of the house, really. But, okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all, hold on. And I don't have, you'll see a difference in quality because I don't have my vlogging camera, I just have my phone. Oh, girl, we looking a little rough. But basically, y'all know how you be somebody ring you up and they don't want to make no kind of interaction or contact with you and they be rushing you and shit. That's how that girl was. And I'm like, ooh, these people be getting on my nerves. And hey, like she was too impatient and they wasn't doing us and they was just standing up there like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> but yeah, so, ooh, girl, we looking rough. So Jack has something going on with his nail. It's like inflamed or something. And he had gotten a nail bed infection before. And I'm hoping it's not there because when I took him to the vet, it was like four or five hundred dollars, and I don't have that. I have some antiseptic spray, wound treatment spray. It's like the antibacterial, anti-fungal stuff. But he keeps looking at it, so I'm look. I've been looking for him some socks. I went to Walmart to see if they had the little doggy socks. I saw that Five Below has some dog socks for five dollars. I just need something to cover his foot so he don't lick it. Lick it, really. Um, so I think that'll be a cheap alternative. So I'm gonna do that and see if they got it. And then I can't spend no more money kids bills. I really do think that drinking my herbal teas help with my PCOS. This month, I'm not on track to get my period on time because I've been stressing and I had ran out of vitamins for a little bit. So, um, yeah. So I went and got some more. This has toasty in it. If you know, you know. Um, but if you don't, here's a little, you know, it's the holy basil plant. And this has, I really like the flavor. And then, so some of them have toasty. This one is just, why did I get this one? Oh, this one is toasty hibiscus. And then this one is moringa. Almost all of them are toasty except for this one because they didn't have any more of the moringa kind. But this is the miracle tree of life. And I'll just put this right here. I've been drinking a lot of teas with this. I was drinking this when I got my period too. Yeah, so this haul is mostly Tulsi, which is fine as long as it's like the herbal teas. But I was hoping there'd be another one of these, but there was, it was another one of these, but another flavor. But anyways, I got this for, I got four things of tea for it, four. So I got 25 times four, 100 bags of tea for $17. <laughs> these at Dollar Tree too. This from some videos I saw, but they have the like satin heatless curl sets and self grip rollers. I love this store so much. <laughs> Is this supposed to be the dupe for the Kardashian one? I think a lot of these are just dupes of like popular brands. I've tried one, I've gifted one and it was actually really good. I can't speak for all of them though. okay i found it oh they have them yay okay these it's like a set that matches the owner set but i might just get this one because jack is a boy they have a lot i know this is a newer store they have a lot in this one not the glasses this is also where I got Jack shampoo from. He's actually using this one right now, the uh, oatmeal shampoo. And then they had a spray leave-in conditioner. Oh my gosh, this music. I'm gonna have to do a talk over voice over. Okay, so I've been ironing the TikTok, the uh, nail glue on TikTok, but they got something here for $3. I wonder if it worked. You know how the nail glue be working. It'd be disappointing us for real. Wait, these are hella cute. I love that these are already in the coffee nail shape because baby, I be struggling to get the coffee nail shape. I really need to do my nails and talking to you.
All right, y'all, just clip Jack Nails. He, gets, he did such a good job. He's such a big boy. <laughs> That's my big boy. You laid there. You did so good. Look how he went for something. Look how he went for in the center, y'all. And you just know some up there. How you know I got you some up there? I do. You want to try a new treat? Do you see it? <laughs> hey, I don't scratch me up. Oh, your nails, bro. This is actually kind of hard. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come over here. Wait, wait, wait. Sit. Sit. Okay, you ready? Nice. Nice. Okay, go take it to your bed. Bed, get in your bed with it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at you listening. <laughs> you good? Jet, like, you my business? Why do you focus on my business? I just want to see you in the tree, Jet. That's it. Hey, y'all. We back. Got my stuff in the back. Okay, I need to. Ooh, there's music in the background. I'm going to try to talk real fast. I need to load the dishwasher because it's, it's giving dirty in here and I don't know if anybody else can relate when like your house dirty and you just can't do anything just like my nails not done. I'm gonna have to do that too so I can get some content popping. Alright, alright. Mm -mm -mm -mm. See these the pots? These the pots we need to get rid of. And this is still wet. I have to put this in there. Y'all see? Y'all can't see. Y'all see how the scratches in there? They were saying that it's unhealthy for you. So, baby, I'm going to try to get me some better pans as soon as possible. Pan said this was the um, Chrissy Cravings by Chrissy Teigen. I've had these for like years now. Love these bowls down. These are, um, I got these from Home Goods. They're like marble. If you know me, you know I love, 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 love marble on things. Yeah, just ignore my house cabinet because it's not super organized. Like them blue bowls aren't supposed to be down here. But yeah. <laughs> this one is real bad, look. Baby, oh man. You know? But baby, we gotta get a new set. Hey, what the plates from the set? Y'all see these little cracks though? I've had these for a while. I need to get some new plates. But these are, they're starting to get the little cracks in there. Like that wasn't part of the design, but obviously like this was. But yeah, I love these so much. And I think I said I got these from Home Goods, but I got these from, what's the other one that's not Home Goods? At home, yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> I got these from at home, not home goods. <sighs> Jack got a piss pot head run on that wipe his foot up. I don't know why you do this to me. Okay, anyways, back to the clean hands. Y'all, I still remember when I got these, this set from TikTok shop. Um, this, this is what it came in. I had showed it in a like pass well. Anyway, I got it from TikTok shop for like $14 and it came with all this stuff and it came with a measuring cup set as well. Like the set, this is just one of them. Y'all, they still holding on. They still doing pretty good. Only one of them is kind of broken and it's this one. But for 14 zones, they've been holding out. And I don't like this little design on the front, so I just turn it this way. How would they know? How would they know? Also, for the dishwasher girlies, did y'all know? I hate when there's water still in here. Did y'all know you could take this out? Did you know? This makes it so much easier to fill your drawers with the um, like silverware and stuff. If it's dry. It looks dry though. But anyway, it's a mess, y'all. Anyway, I have this little thing. What it looks like. And these were the measuring cups I was talking about that came with that set. And it also came with the little spoons too. I didn't have them all put together, but they look like this. That was a good bargain for that. 
I did these minutes to rust so bad. Oh my God. It's the knife sharpener, but look at the rust. Golly, this is our first time washing this. Let me see if that'll come off. Something I've been noticing with the dishwasher, I've used the dishwasher for a while, but something I've been noticing lately with my specific dishwasher is it does the heat dry, but it leaves moisture. Is that coming? So I've been trying to open it to vent it. Like I'm probably put this back in there. But everything else is good, but it just leaks sometimes and it makes it rust. Cause like, see, this is a cute little thing that came in there. That sharpener, like that's crazy. It's just like my first time washing it in there. Now we can put this back into the dishwasher. So how did my house shoe get wet? But anyways, I'm about to take all this dirty stuff and load it into the dishwasher. And I'm gonna listen to some gospel music. Real quick. I've been listening to the same song all morning. I used to listen to this all the time and when I was in college going through stuff. It's called by R.A. Vernon and what is he called? The, the Word Church. Oh, I love this one. Oh, let me zoom out. Just say I'm zoomed in. Oh, that might help a little bit. But y'all seeing me? No, I gotta be all the way back here. We're amazed. You have these glass straws into my dishwasher. But make sure y'all y'all have some of these straw cleaners. Cause I do both. I put it in there. Can y'all see that? This camera sucks at auto focus and I swear. I put this, I bought some of these from Amazon. I can link them if y'all need them. So I put them in the dishwasher and then bef then I like washed the inside out too. So kind of like double cleanse because if you ain't washing the inside of the, of the straws and like get a little scrub it up going on, you probably not cleaning them good. <laughs> and I realized that a little later, I got a little sick thinking about it one day. I said, I need some straw cleaners, girl. This part makes me better cry every time. We cry holy, holy. Woo! We cry holy, are you Lord? So I get it away again. I get it away again. Oh my God! My my least favorite part is when I leave something. We leave something in the refrigerator too long, and it's spoiled, and it's about to get moldy. Y'all, mold made me want to freaking ask for the cuss. Which is okay, I guess. I'm working on it. <laughs> but Mo made me want to throw up and like clean my whole body. Like this is getting nasty. I like the lavender, but I actually refilled it with. And honestly, I didn't even know I had these. And this, more of this left, it's like actually broken up, but I'm trying to use it all. And I looked under my camera and I was like, girl, we got some cleaning stuff on here. Granite, you can't use all the cleaning stuff on granite. Cause it like does something to the coating or stuff. Like you can't use all cleaning products on granite. So you have to figure out what to use for this. I usually use like soap and water, but I like that I can use this Myers Clean as well because it's like gentle enough also fabuloso you can use because it's pretty gentle too but anything with bleach or like you're not supposed to use disinfectant wipes either they have specific wipes for granite countertops and we're gonna like i had some at first but i'm like i ain't that rich I ain't like yet <laughs> so i hope the dishwasher isn't too loud but i figure since we're in here i'm just gonna share my like favorite household things while i'm like cleaning up one is these Viva paper towels, like this, and it's stretchy and like when it's wet, it gets even more like kind of, what's the word? Not stretchy. I don't know. And it lasts a long time because you don't have to keep, you don't have to like use a bunch of them 
to get the job done. You can really use one. I'm using multiple because this solution is too soapy, girl. That concentrate was way more soapy than I thought. Let me put some more water in here. So yeah, I like the signature one. I got the multi-surface one and they were like the consistency of like the bounty. If you like the kind with the ridges on it or whatever. They do have one that's called multi-surface, but this one is my girl. Like I've been rolling with her for years now. I had the bra strap, y'all. I'm looking thrown away, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I am at home, so mind your business. Yeah, so to wash my clothes, I've been using, I've been a like pod fling girl, surprisingly, because at first I was like, mm-mm. But I've been using these game flings. This is the Moonlight Breeze, but they have another one. I can't remember the, the scent. I was gonna say flavor. I can't remember the scent. This one smelled good, but the one we had before, I liked a lot better. I think it was like Breeze. I don't know, it was a blue one. The scent was a blue scent. That's all I remember, like that was, that was blue. You just like throw them in there. And this one has the OxyClean and the Febreze in it. And then it's me wanting to get everything out of there. Okay, next. If y'all don't try any other home cleaning stuff and you like Unstoppables and you haven't tried this green one, please, oh, please try it. It's, oh my God, it smells like, like they're all gone. Look, this is my second bottle. It smells like candy, like citrus candy like it smells so good like this is one of the first things i would smell this like i ain't gonna say one of the first but this one of them things where i'm like i see my little kids are trying to get this one it looks like candy and it smells like candy it smells so good the scent is paradise and i've seen this scent in their sprays and stuff but i think it's new to the unstoppables or to my stores that i've been going to i had never seen this in the unstoppables it smells so good you will thank me later and then something I've been trying this new is the Downy Rinse and Refresh. Honestly, it's just supposed to be like an odor eliminator. I don't know. Say it breaks down odor, freshness fabrics. I really like the scent of this. It does add a like scent to it. Because I don't know about y'all, but I feel like the washing powder smells good, but you have to add stuff if you want to smell, smell good. Um, I don't know if this one, if I would get this one again, but when I add this and the Unstoppables, it be smelling so good. The Unstoppables do it by itself, but this, maybe because it has the like odor removal or whatever. Girl, I knew I was forgetting something. I literally went to Walmart today. We use this kind, the Platinum Plus, I think it's this one. Yeah, Cascade. I knew I was forgetting something. Look, hold on. I can get it open, I want you open. This, I need to do this some more. It's only three left. Don't you have you go to the store and you know you need something and you can't remember and then you get home and you figure it out. <sighs> also, natural girlies with 4C, 4A, real tightly coily hair. Help me. What do y'all be doing to make y'all twist out some stuff like this? Because I don't like the loose fro look. Like, <laughs> I don't. I'm pushing myself to just embrace it really. But I don't really like it. I would prefer it to keep some definition. So if y'all got product suggestions or whatever, let your girl know down below because I want to wear it out more because my scalp, I'm trying to detox my scalp and stuff and I feel like putting things on top of like braids or scalp or whatever just does not help with detoxifying the scalp. Friends, I need y'all. I need y'all help. <laughs> Yo, these are so cute. <laughs> and I got a matching pair. Why well, I ain't get the little paw pads on mine. <laughs> So cute. This is my tea haul I got from Home Goods, you know, food section. And most of my toasty, I explained this in the car, but yeah, I just want to show y'all what I got. This is my haul. It was $17. I'm about to put it in my tea cabinet. And we sat for a couple weeks. Like, yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah, I have found this um cook on there on TikTok. Yet. And she was talking about how for the Publix buy one get one free. They got Talenti on there, y'all. And they were buy one going free. But she had coupons there was coupons in the app you can uh redeem and i got all three of these for two dollars i got all three of these for two dollars i said girl we need to figure out this couponing because money is tight the cost of one of these is like five dollars i think so to get all three of these for two dollars with the coupons and i did it in self-checkout because they have digital coupons you could just add to your uh, account like girl 
to show you. But all these, and it was with tax, so it was really 180 before tax, but with tax, it was two something. Like, girl, we gotta start couponing. So it's pretty late. I have a hard time getting to sleep usually, and I got up today because I'm feeling eh. Anyway, I got up to make me some tea. And this, today is like Tulsi. I mixed two Tulsi with a sleepy time. I'll show you. I should drink. This is my nightcap and hope I get some sleep because I haven't been getting sleep for the last couple of days. Jack's been sick, like his stomach has been messed up, so I kind of been up like that. So I'm gonna try to get some rest and reset tonight. And I was watching this girl, she's an herbalist on um TikTok, and now I'm gonna get my own little herb so I can make my own tea. Like I really love tea and I think it can help me out a lot having PTOS and stuff like that. Oh, so we got the tea. The lighting is giving the royal raw lighting, but yeah, I'm gonna put I'm um, out of honey. Honey was getting expensive, so I have some simple syrup. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there and maybe some lemon juice. And yeah, we're gonna drink this as the nightcap for tonight. Cheers. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's see if they gave us a broke egg because y'all don't be knowing how to check out eggs. Same, bro. Okay, y'all, so today I'm cooking. It ain't home-baked cooking, but we cooking some. Well, <laughs> we cooking some sauteed green beans. These are the frozen kind. We're gonna steam them first and then top them. And then I think, I was trying to remember this box cornbread that my family get, but I couldn't remember, so I just picked this one up from, um. Walmart. Yeah. So I'm gonna try this and I just need it. Say it has no artificial co colors, flavors, or preservatives. And I just need milk and butter. We already had we got butter, right? I was gonna say fuck. Well, we'll just use oil. So yeah, we just need it for this cornbread mix. It says two-thirds cup of milk, butter, and egg. It want I wanna give like home cooked, but not not too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Okay, and then I'm cooking some flounder fillets that I got from Aldi. We used to use this all the time growing up, like the fish fry. And they have different kinds. This is the seasoned, this one's a real lemon, and it says, it was two different types. I don't know the difference, but the texture was different. So I got this one, and I wanted to basically for the flounder, like lightly batter it and like maybe saute it or put it in the oven. If that makes sense. Because these are thin. These are like some thin fillets. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, that's the idea. It's going to be some flounder, green beans, cornbread, and mash. <laughs> and then I made some tea. This is chamomile tulsi. And it's the moringa, which is the healing tree. Strawberry rose mixed in with it. I put a little bit of juice, a little bit. I always put a little bit of lemon juice in my tea. Yep, it's good. So the toasty helps with like anti-inflammatory, anti-stress. It's a couple of different things, but I really be in my herbal bag. I want to be one of the herb girlies that have like the herb and can make their own tea and stuff. Like I'm about that life. I'm that invested with the tea. I'll keep y'all posted. If y'all make y'all tea or into that, let me know in the comments below because we need to link up. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper to it. I don't know if I'm gonna regret that later, but we're gonna add some lemon pepper to it, cause why not? Y'all would've thought I was baking with how bad I got this fish fry everywhere. 
Anyways, I was watching Kyla Shay and she was talking about how she don't like to do cooking videos and her for real because you gotta like stop and get out of. I get it because I really be liking the little cooking footage y'all be doing and people be doing the vlogs and I want to do it too. Yeah, I just got this this wig on my head. Like you see the play? Like I threw this on to go to Target. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did y'all peep the plate before then? You gotta grab the, the tripod. My tripod got all kind of fish fry on it now. I'm gonna have to sanitize it. Now I got more work to do, I get it. And I feel like I made more mess trying to like angle and stuff, so. We only did the fish, so I'm tired. We're gonna try to get as much as we can, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna place this. This is my first time cooking it like this, to be honest. Usually when I do fish fry, I actually fry it. This is it. Let me not fall in the oven. I usually fry fry, but I just like kind of battered it or whatever. And we're gonna put it in the oven for 15 minutes and see everything about this recipe new. <laughs> so. We got, I cooked the fish first, so I should've did the, whatever. We, the fish almost done. And then I'm gonna put the cornbread in there cause it says it's gonna take like 25 to 30 minutes. And then the green beans will be easy. The, um, and the mash will be easy. So then we'll be done. That food was busting. I made, I think I made the coating too thick for the stir for the fish fry stir fry, fish fry. But yeah, it's a late dinner night. But yeah, finna edit probably and go to bed because I ain't getting no sleep last night. But the food was good. I rated a nine out of ten because of the skin. And that cornbread, the cornbread was sweet. I wasn't expecting it to be sweet. It wasn't jiffy sweet, but it was sweet. Like, but it wasn't too bad because I think jiffy is too sweet. So if you like the little sweet, you might like that one. But yeah, what else? The beans turned out so good. Ooh, I'm so full. I got my food digest. I was thinking about drinking a cup of tea, but I don't even feel like it tonight. So.